Today marks the first full work day since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Today, directly across the street from family planning of South Central New York in Binghamton, activists gathered and protested the decision. Those in attendance were asked to come up to the microphone and share their opinions. The underlying message of all the speakers is that the Supreme Court ruling has stripped away basic human rights. Some people say that the worst is yet to come. They fear that other rights may be also subject to change. Aviva Friedman, a Binghamton City Council member and employee of family planning, says that those who support abortion rights need to pressure local, state, and federal officials. It's, it's tiring. It takes a lot of energy to sustain this kind of anger. And um, while anger and fear are understandable and important emotions to feel around something like this, it's also important to keep a mind frame of care and love too, right? Caring for your body and caring for our bodies. Many of the speakers highlighted the economic burden the ruling may cause, such as access to other reproductive resources, affordable housing, food, and an increase of kids in foster and child care. Those in attendance were asked to sign up to house someone in need of an abortion in case they come from out of state to receive treatment.